Hello, this is Kirk with USA Measurements, and today I'll be showing you how to calibrate your US 1011 NTEP approved indicator. So to begin, you'll want to turn on your indicator until it gets to the normal weighing screen. After that, you need to press the calibration button in the back of your indicator so here, and you'll want to hold that down for about three seconds. You hear a beep, and you'll see setup on the display. After that, hit the print button, which will be our enter button and it'll take us to our function one screen. Hit the print button again, and you'll see F1.0. Hit the print button, and now we'll be able to select the unit of measurement we want our indicator weighing in. One will be for pound, zero will be for kilograms. And we're gonna select pound for this video. F1.1, we'll enter there. This is where we get to select our capacity. You can toggle with these buttons here. The arrows will show you which way you're going. We're gonna select 100 pounds for this video and hit the print key. And we'll toggle up to F1.2 and enter that. This will show us how many decimal places we would like to be weighing in. We'll select one decimal place for this video and enter. F1.3 will be where you select the increments and in what you would like your scale to be weighing in. So we'll pick one increment for this video, enter. Move up to F1.4 and enter that. At this point, we'll be capturing, capturing our zero point, the scale. <clears throat> so at this point, you don't want anything on the scale. Hit the enter button and it'll do a countdown to capture that zero point. I'll take you back, toggle up to F1.5 and enter. And at this time, you'll see load. You'll want to load any weight onto the scale that you'll be using to calibrate. We're using a 50 pound weight. We'll hit enter, and now you'll want to enter that amount that you have placed on the scale. So now that we have that done, and this scale is stable, we'll hit the enter button. You'll see another countdown. And this will be the end of your calibration. At this point, hit the count button twice to go back into the normal screen.